I'm going to show you how you program the keys after doing a PCM replacement or uh, basically key replacement on a Ford vehicle. Here we're using the, uh, the Ford VCM and the Ford IDS software. This happens to be an 04 or 05 uh, F-150. Um, there is a 10 minute timeout procedure as you see it's uh, 0 to 600 seconds. Uh, you have to enter in to the security thing. Is the security mode right now we got about uh, 15 or seconds or so and then we'll see what the procedure says there's often a few different options it gives you when you do this but uh, we'll see what the next screen says here it should say process complete security access granted okay this operation has been successful so we go ahead and click here security access is granted then what we want to do here um, since this is a new PCM I think the best way to do this would be to go to ignition key code erase and program so that's going to wipe this computer of all of its memory if it is a remand computer sometimes I still have it and you must have two ignition keys to, to do this they can't be clone keys you have to have two uh, basically two original Ford keys um, Ilco keys do work. I use those all the time. I cut them and program them. But the next step is you hit OK. It's going to say all all data is going to be erased. You must have two keys for the procedure to work. OK. So it says they make sure you know that because if you don't have two keys, it will not start. Click that. Operation's been successful. And it's got a little 15 second timeout. Okay, all known keys have been erased. Now you must program them with two keys. Okay, the engine will not start until you complete the following steps. Basically, turn the ignition off and turn key one into ignition, which we'll use this as key one, what's in there. So, can't see, but I'll go ahead and turn the key on for three seconds one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. And we put key two in ignition. Turn on for three seconds and then remove one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. And after that, um, we'll turn the ignition back to on. And make sure that it starts. And the vehicle starts and runs now. The PATS light is up here in case you don't see. We'll make sure with another key that it works. That's the PATS light. If that light is blinking, it will interrupt the starter on this vehicle and cause a no start. But when you turn the key on, it should blink for a second and then go out. So that's how you do that. And we'll exit out of here. And that's how you do that.